the very, very first starting point that KK talked about was the ability to search a knowledge base. Now, a lot of you might say, well, we don't have a knowledge base. We've, we don't, we've not done this, but this is what we really want to emphasize, the power of doing this. The software does come with a about 10,000 uh, separations. Um, these are a bunch of different types of separations across a, a couple of different chromatic, chromatic, chromatographic techniques. Uh, definitely the power in this is databasing your own methods once you've established a method with your own structures and using this database to search structurally into the database that you've created and using ours as well if you want to find structurally similar compounds that you've separated in the past and use that as a good starting point for the next method development. So you'll notice everything from the method came into the database. Uh, so all the chromatographic parameters are here, all the tables of peaks and structures. You don't have to have structures. Um, over here, you can add a whole bunch of what we call metadata, which could be um, compound ID, uh, ELN number, chemist name, um, SOP number, anything that you want to search on that you've added here is fully searchable. So creating these um, has come a long way over the years since I've been at ACD Labs. So it's got, a, we've had a lot of people doing this in chiral, especially chiral, uh, because chiral separations can be quite problematic, but definitely in a chiral as well. And so being able to search back on what you've done in the past to find a decent starting point is, is really, really powerful. 